I'd now like to talk about a help feature that uh, is available to us uh, with Azure AD called Self-Service Password Reset, also known as SSPR. Now, this is a, a great feature in a situation where a user uh, gets locked out of their account or forgets their password or something along those lines, and they need to reset their password. It's very similar to pretty much any website you've been to where you've done the forgot your password uh, option. Now, a couple things you need to understand first and things you want to remember about this is that, um, number one, it is disabled by default. SSPR is not turned on by default. You have to turn it on, okay? Um, secondly, you have to have one of the Microsoft 365 business licenses or at least Azure AD Premium 1 in order to get this. So if you don't have uh, one of the Microsoft 365 business licenses or um, Azure AD Premium 1 at least, you won't have this feature available to you. Okay, so very important. You got to have the licensing for it and you got to have it turned on. So let's see how we can do that. All right, so here we are on portal.azure.com. We're going to click the menu button. We're going to go to Azure Active Directory. Okay, from there, there's a blade called Password Reset. So we're just going to click on the Password Reset blade. All right, and you'll notice that Self Service Password Reset is turned off. So if we want to turn this on, we can uh, click Select and we can select certain uh, uh, groups we want to maybe turn this on um, for, uh, certain users we want to turn this on for, or user groups, sorry, certain user groups we want to turn this on for, we can do that. Or we can click all and we can turn this on for everyone, okay? Once you've done that, you're going to click save and then you're going to go over to authentication methods, okay? Um, and then from there, you will, uh, it, it gives you a few different options. The, the first would be that you have, to, um, you have to give a user the ability to prove who they are in order to reset their account, their reset their password, right? So there's two, two by default, which is email and mobile phone. Um, so a user can have an email address registered that they, can, they have access to. They can have a mobile phone uh, registered that they can have access to. And, of course, if they'll do an email, it, it sends them a, the information via email. If they've got a mobile phone, it'll basically text them a code. They can uh, unlock their account that way. But so that's how they're going to prove their account. You also can do the mobile app code method. Now, if you're not familiar with that, Microsoft has a uh, an app called the Microsoft Authenticator app. You can download it on your phone, tablet. Uh, it's free. It doesn't cost any money. And there's two different ways you can use the app, two main ways you can use the app. Um, the first method is it'll give you a one-time passcode like you see here, and basically the number just changes every 30 seconds. Okay. Um, and another option is when you go to sign on, it'll ask you if you approve the sign in. And if you say yes, it'll uh, authenticate you. So the default one that you got here is just that code that changes every 30 seconds. But you can also do a mobile app notification that will basically uh, just ask you, uh, do you approve the sign in? But you can't select that option unless you at least do uh, require two uh, methods up here. So you notice it's no longer grayed out when you choose two. Okay. You can also do an office phone uh, where it can call, uh, where basically you'll get like a Siri type or a um, Cortana, I should say, type voice that'll call you on the phone and uh, you'll authorize it that way. Or you can do security questions. So if you go to security questions, you can basically require uh, up to five questions answered. So a user, the next time they log on, they'll have to answer five questions and then uh, it'll remember those answers. And then that you can set how many they got to get right in order to change their password. So if they register five questions, it'll ask them three questions and you know they got to get three right in order to, uh, to for it to work. From there you can also um, select which questions you want. Okay, I can go predefined. I can select the five questions I want. I can also write custom questions right here. So very easy as you can see to um, configure self-service password reset. At that point, when a user goes to log on, they can't remember their password, they have the ability to reset their password. It also, not really getting into all this right now, but uh, Azure does have artificial intelligence. If it thinks that you are a hacker, it thinks your account has been breached, it may do a force self-service password reset where a user is forced to prove who they are in order to log on. So there's another reason why this might kick in, but most of the time this is simply for somebody who has forgotten their password and they, they need to prove their account so they can log on, all right? And um, 
that is, and of course you got to save all this, but that is how you can implement SSPR, also known as Self-Service Password Reset. Hey, this is John Christopher. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I want you to know that I'm trying really hard to grow this channel, so I hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. Also, if you'll check the description in this video, I've got a link for you that can show you how you can get access to all my different courses. I have lots of different Microsoft certification courses that'll help you pass your exam. All right, thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope to see you again. <laughs>